I want to encourage you to get Dr. Sam Chan's book, Bigger, Faster Leadership, Lessons from the Builders of the Panama Canal. And you were sharing with us about uh, in your in your message about how they did that and uh, how it took bigger structure and processes to get there. So, But the structure and process, if we don't fix it on the inside of us first, right, the way we're thinking and the way we lead ourselves, that's going to be the biggest issue, isn't it? Absolutely. In this book, there's a chapter that, uh, you know, in the building of the Panama Canal, uh, hundreds of thousands of people died uh, just uh, oh, in, the, wow. in the process of doing that. The biggest problem was not the mountain moving, it was not the dynamite blasting, it was not the machinery, it was not the economy, even though three countries were a part of that. It was mosquitoes. Are you serious? Malaria, yellow oh. fever, typhoid, mosquitoes were the biggest challenge something very small in the building of the panama canal mosquitoes are those thoughts mosquitoes are those feelings mm -hmm. those emotions mosquitoes are mm -hmm. those things that carry infection from person to person on facebook and twitter and instagram wow, that's good. you know mosquitoes are those things that go zzz, and you just kind of swat them and you say ah zzz, just an annoyance but that annoyance can be a killer Yes. So there are mosquitoes in every organization, mm -hmm. <laughs> mosquitoes in our head, mosquitoes in uh, the way we think about people, the mos mosquitoes from our past. And, uh, you know, we just kind of right. annoyance. But and sometimes we start to focus on those and get our right. eyes off of where we're trying to exactly. go. Exactly. If, if they were busy thinking all the ways about the mosquitoes, mm -hmm. it's just still dealing with some of that. That's right. So at the end of the day, you have to fumigate them. <laughs> you have, How do you do that? Okay. You have to. You have to fumigate them. You have to come to a place in which you know and say to yourself, "These mosquitoes are more than an annoyance. They really." So there are some relationships uh, that uh, our listeners might be in right now that are not only. Uh, not taking them where they need to go, but are toxic, toxic for them. Yes. And we go from toxic relationship to toxic relationships. Mm -hmm. We, we, uh, Because that's familiar to us. That's normal. Absolutely. You know, I've found this about people. We'd much rather live with the known misery hmm. than the unknown blessing. Wow. Uh, that's a statement. So the unknown, the unknown blessing is waiting for us, but the known misery is, you know, this is what I know. This is what I do. So it's how you feel and how you, what you do with your feelings, what you do with your emotions. We all are emotional human beings. Right. And we they're all, great if, yeah, they yeah. Put, if they're harnessed. That's right, if they're harnessed. So you have to, em, emotions are one of those things that you have to acknowledge because your emotions are your emotions. Uh, so you say, well, I got angry at that. I have to give you that. But once the emotional moment is over, you know, you gotta say, was that the appropriate emotion at that moment for that. Uh, so many emotions are not right or wrong, they are inappropriate. And goes back to uh, who has control of your emotions, of control of you, mm -hmm. or you have a, uh, control of your emotions. I know, I know in my life, uh, times that I have messed up really bad have not been intellectual times. They have been when I went off on somebody. When I... <laughs> and usually that's because we tolerate something way past when we should and we keep trying to be the nice guy mm -hmm. instead of just dealing with it and confronting the situation. And then the anger, frustration, all of a sudden it comes to a head mm -hmm. and then we become the bad guy. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with a bad person, situation, whatever, bad performance at a job position. And if we keep letting, or even maybe it's disciplining your children, you, you let things go and go and go and go and then all of a sudden you blow up and it's much more destructive to do that, isn't it, than just mm -hmm. deal with it. Because if, if somebody's response is bigger than the issue. You know, there's more going on. Right. You know, so if there's a tirade of some nature, uh, I live in Atlanta, so we have a lot of road rage. <laughs> you, know, you know, I guess it's everywhere, but let me talk about my city. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's road rage. So why would somebody shoot at somebody in another car simply because? It's totally irrational. Yes. Yeah. It was. Something, that means something happened before they got in the car. Something happened on the way. Something was going off here and this triggered right. uh, an emotion here. So, when, so I think we have to be cognizant of the fact that emotions are not just floating in a vacuum. There are trigger points in people's lives. Mm -hmm. And so when uh, I've had to stop and say, Sam, where did that come from? Right. Because then once, once I was able to look back on that,
Okay, so that was the genesis. So instead of dealing with the emotional outburst, right. which all I'm doing there is clean up, I have to go back and say, okay, this is where it started. If I can stop yes. it at the spring, at the fountain, right. uh, down the road will be better yes. off. Dr. Sam, so good to be here. We could keep talking so much about all this. <laughs> Bigger, faster leadership. God wants you to be able to lead yourself. And if you learn to lead yourself, you'll be able to lead your family, lead others, lead your business, and you will see success. Prosperity, money, the blessings, they come from choices that we make and what we think about all of those things, what we think about our marriage, what we think about our relationships. So thanks for joining me today, Andrea. Thank you, Dr. Sam. Honor to hope be here. I hope you'll come back. We'll Thank visit you. some more. And provision was awesome. I hope you get the resources. It will begin to do that thing we talked about, change your thinking change your stinking thinking so your responses will be different when you're in situations that bring pressure you can make the right response you can have the right choice and you're going to see different results in the future thanks for joining me today on drenda have a great day we'll see you next time you're more of what matters to god and to me do you want to end the war on sadness then click the button right there and subscribe